making the course more academic, more studious, right from the very beginning. Initially, we thought about doing that in the very first teaching week, and then as the conversations went on, we thought, well, why not do it in induction week, before teaching even starts? Um, previously, induction week had been very gentle. You know, we really wanted these students to feel at home, not feel threatened, uh, to know where the library was, to know where the bar was, um, to um, orientate themselves um, in, in the campus. And the feedback we were kind of getting was, no, they didn't really want that specifically. They wanted to come and study something. They wanted to have a book and have a purpose right from the very beginning. So we thought, okay, well, why not in that very first welcome session, rather than doing a you know, traditional icebreaker, find someone and find two things you've got in common with them and you know th those kind of things, why not um, revise that and make it a, a, a first taught session with a task and introduce that task right at the very beginning. So mm -hmm. at, the, at, at the end of that very first session, they are students. They have got something that they have to do. Um, and when we first thought, I thought, oh, that's not very nice, is it? You know, we don't want to, people thinking, oh no, straight away I've got all this work going on. So we thought, well, how are we going to strike that balance of being welcoming, being approachable, but, and, and, but still making them feel, yes, I've got a role, I am a student, this is, this is my new identity. So we went back to the icebreaker um, process. Um, and that's the, the kind of time, I'm gonna talk you through that for, for a moment and, and give you a chance to have a go at it so perhaps you'll get some kind of empathy with the, with the students. Um, the first thing we wanted to do in our icebreaker was to make those students feel comfortable um, and to feel confident um, in the new groups. And now obviously they're all coming from these different situations that I've described, um, but their one focus is that they're all on education courses, so they, they've got a commonality there. So the first thing we did, after I said, hi, I'm Jane, Sagittarius, it was nice to meet you, you know, all that kind of speed dating kind of stuff that you do at the beginning. Um, we said, about, I want you to um, speak to the person nearby to you, the nearest people to you, get a group of four or five, however many you can, and I want you to tell the people in that group your strength, what you think you are best at, and an example of why you think you're good at that, okay? So um, it was, I said, it hasn't got to be um, something ever, you don't have a certificate, and it's not like saying I'm good at swimming and here's my 10 meter front crawl certificate to go with it. It could be that someone has said to you, but you're a really good listener, you know, and something that had made people feel good. And I put these kind of terms up on the board for the students so that they could, so I wasn't asking them to, be very specific and say, oh, yes, actually, I've got the neatest handwriting in year 10 ever, you know, kisses, all that kind of stuff. It could be something quite general. So I'd like you to do that just for a moment. If you can kind of find somebody nearby to you and just think what... So what, we introduced this, um, this as the next kind of session of the icebreak, because I said to make things a little bit more unfamiliar. So we've put people hopefully in the relatively kind of happy place where they've said, I'm good at this, I'm happy about this and then giving them a chance to, in a comfortable situation, say, I, I don't really know, I kind of think this might be that, um, but there was nothing riding on it. It wasn't kind of mm. make or break. It wasn't, what's the answer? Snappy, snappy, you know, seven, eight, or whatever it's going to be. Um, and there was lots of discussion. It went on, obviously, much longer than, than, than uh, the session here. And some things that people really obviously knew about, things like being an actor, and some of them kind of just did what they said on the tin, so mm -hmm. sound recorders and camera operator. Much more discussion about things like directors and editors and things like that, about exactly what their roles would be, and there were discussions about whether it would be a TV or whether it was film, and that then some people had a bit of knowledge of something. But at the end of it, we ha kind of had an idea of, of what um, each role had, and I had a, a sheet there that kind of had a, a precy of, of all of on it. So the next step we did then was to go back to those groups and say, okay, you identified one of your strengths. You might feel you're very organized. You might be very uh, personable. You might be have a really good sense of humor, etc., etc. Can you link your strengths to one of these roles? Mm. Okay, so we, we don't kind of do that now. Don't people stand up and say, yeah, I'd be a good editor. Or, I'm an actor. Um, but um, we, we went around the group and it was really quite peculiar how... Um, because I was a bit, it was a bit of a nerve-wracking moment. I was thinking, am I going to have, you know, 40, 50 actors all <laughs> saying, I'm just very creative, and nobody who That's would right. say I'm very organised. <laughs> I am an actor. Yeah, luckily <laughs> I've done something right. And um, um, the, 
the, the, uh, the strengths that people had identified mapped really quite neatly onto these roles. We had at least two or three people that kind of felt, yeah, I'd be comfortable in that kind of role. I think that would fit my strengths um, really well. So we've gone from the familiar to the unfamiliar, and the next box that we felt that we needed to check them was to move it onto the academic. So we put them in a, um, in a happy place, as it were. We've given them an opportunity to open up some channels of discussion with these new, uh, new friends, new colleagues. And now I wanted to make them feel like students. So um, we said, what, what your task is going to be, and bear in mind this is still the very first session. They still haven't found their room, or they, they have found the bar, probably, but they haven't found their room. Um, <laughs> That, was, um, that they were going to produce a video in a group. Um, they were going to assign these roles according to the strengths that they'd identified, and they needed to make um, a video about information literacy. And that was the brief that they had. I didn't tell them what information literacy was. I didn't tell them what I want that, that video to contain, how long it needed to be. I said, you have four weeks. Um, there was a, um, a pack that um, we came marks towards their degree due to not referencing correctly in their essays. We go now to our correspondent out of the studio who's going to tell us more details about this phenomenon called electronic referencing. Yes, that's right. Many students are missing out on precious marks. And the question is, what is referencing? We asked some students what they thought about referencing. Excuse me, what do you think about referencing? Oh, it's confusing. You see, many students really struggle with these extra marks that make such a huge difference. Sometimes they even bring it on an A grade essay down to a D grade. The reader of the essay needs to know the author of the reference, the editor's surname, the editor's initials, the year it was written, the place of publication, the publisher, where it is available, and the access date. So evidently, there are many things to consider when a student is making decisions about referencing in their essays. I see you, Jennifer. So what would be a good example of a reference to use in an essay? Well, here we have with you, Ms. Jones, who is a teacher at this university. Ms. Jones, what would you say would be a good example of a reference for a student? As you can see... Okay, um, I do not a real teacher, by the way, that is obvious. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we have some really uh, young faculty members. Um, um, 